Okay, let's give you guys an example. So, um, so let's say we, we're heating up this massive pot of water here. Um, the, uh, the height of this pot is an unrealistic 5 meters. Okay, um, down here is 100 degrees Celsius. Up here it's uh, 60 degrees Celsius. So, um, so down here it's really hot down here, but there's less, less of a volume down here. Up here is cooler, but there's more, more of a volume up here. So, so to, to, um, to find the average temperature of this, um, well, just, just bear in mind that there's, there's a, um, a temperature gradient. Okay, so there's a temperature gradient from here to here. It is, um, it is 40 degrees. From here to here, it is 40 degrees. So set up your temperature gradient to be, well, don't forget we are moving along the y axis. So, so we're, we're going to work in terms of something dy. Okay, it's easier to work in discs than, than it is in cylinders. Okay, so, well, anyway, we are, we are working in terms of dy. Well, the, uh, the, the temperature gradient, so don't forget it's from here to here, there's a gap of 40 degrees. So set up your gradient, your temperature gradient to be 100, take away, um, by the time it gets to, uh, to 5, then it should make 40, 40 degrees. So set up your temperature gradient to be something in the form of, um, uh, hang on, so, so it has to be, uh, 8, 8 Y. Okay, so, so set up your temperature gradient because, uh, set up your temperature gradient to be this because by the time Y gets to, gets to 5, it would make 40 degrees. Okay, so you can see there's a gap. Well, to develop your own way of doing it. Some, somehow you, you need to create a temperature gradient. Well, the temperature gradient here, it, it, it will be this. Okay. Um, and then you have to take the volume into account. So, um, so, so our temperature gradient is, um, is 100 take away 8y. And, uh, and don't forget we're summing up all the disks. But, uh, but we are, we are working in terms of, well, we're, we're, we're rotating it. So, um, so let's, let's just look at this one particular disc here. Uh, the thickness associated with this disc here is dy. And, uh, and the radius here, we need, we need to, to pi r it. We, we need to rotate it and form a disc. We need to, to, uh, we'll, to work out the area of the circle. So it would be two, uh, sorry, it would be pi r squared. But, uh, r in this case, well, don't forget r in this case, um, R in this case would be would be root y, okay? Because because given this here, rearrange it. The the distance from here to here is root y, but then you need to square it, so it will become pi y, okay? So um, so combining combining the temperature with the volume, it would be this um, pi what? So times pi y and then dy, okay? So so uh, so the average 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 would be would be this so so this is a combination of temperature and volume now we need to divide by the volume um so that would be pi y dy okay so so somehow work out the volume of, of this here well that would be given by this and don't forget we we are summing up all the uh, all the dy's here so so it's from zero to five so it's from zero to five up here is from zero to five, so the average um, the average temperature would be given by this. Okay, so the average temperature would be given by this. Same thing. These these two are the same thing. Okay, um, and then uh, and then now it's just a matter of um, evaluating this. So um, multiply this out. Okay, so so hang on. Let, let's go back one step. So um, this here is. 60 degrees up here 60 degrees down here is 100 there's more of a cooler stuff um here there's the, it's really hot here but the volume is also it is the volume is tiny but the um, the average temperature would be somewhere in between here may mm, well I don't well maybe maybe the average temperature would be somewhere somewhere in this well well anyway let's let's continue let's continue with this so the average temperature would be given by this. Uh, multiply this out. That would then take you to to here. That would then take you to here, and then and then uh, and then and then uh, hang on. 
and then you can you can see that you you can factor out the pi, so you can factor out the pi, okay, and then the pi would then become a constant. Well, the pi is a constant, so take take the pi out. So uh, so from here, that would then take you to here. That would then take you to here, and then um, and then these two would cancel out. That would then give you this, okay, and then now. Now it's just a matter of uh, integrating. So, um, so integrate this. That will then give you this. Okay, and then, um, and then, yeah, and then evaluate it, and it will, it will give you a te an average temperature of uh, seventy three point three. Okay, so going back to here, and seventy three point three. So. So the average temperature is um, is probably somewhere around here. Somewhere around here would be your average temperature. Okay.